I just got an update on the boat. Uh, they gave me a call and was asking me lots of questions on why I thought and this and that and what was going on with it and all this bullshit, which I told them before already to begin with. I don't know why they had to call me and ask me again. Obviously, she didn't write down the things I told her when I dropped it off or, or something. I don't know. But anyway, uh, she says, as old as that motor is, it's, it, well, let me start out how she said it. It's either got a blown head gasket. It sounds like it has a blown head gasket. <laughs> and uh, taking the bolts off to get into it, as old as it is, they're probably going to break and it's going to have to be sent to a machine shop and this and that. And it appears that it will cost a lot more money than another option she gave me. Ding! There's the, there's the thing. I think there's another option. We've got another option. Instead of us working our ass off on this motor and trying to get it, this old 1985 motor back together and running, would you like to buy a 40 horsepower motor that we've got for sale? And it's a 1993. It's a newer model. It's, it's a Mariner motor, which is Mercury and Mariner are the same. So it'll hook up to my controls. And uh, it's a newer motor. <laughs> so uh, I'm looking at about $1,100 total on just putting a 93 motor on there. And it's a 40 horse instead of a 35, which I had a 35. And uh, about 1100 bucks to have a new motor and have it installed. And I still get to bring my old motor home. Motor home? I still get to bring my own engine back home with me if I want so I can take it apart later and fuck with it if I ever decide to and uh, that's how it goes I told him go for it because it was probably going to cost that much or more to go into my motor and figure out and fix it so I think I am going with the better option to just go ahead and buy a newer motor uh, that's going to be running, you know, when they give it to me. <laughs> you know, right, right, right? Am I right? Am I right? What do you think? Put your comments below. And before you do that, or before I go, damn, I ain't got about one sip left. I don't even know if I got one sip left. Yeah. Mostly water. Time for another drink, folks. And once I do that, I'm going to take you out back. <laughs> I'm gonna, yeah. Have you? How many times have you heard that? I'm gonna take you out back. You better. If anybody, motherfucker, goddamn redneck tells you I'm gonna take you out back, it's time. Let's go. You better go with his ass because something's in store for you. If you're going out back, I mean, we save our outback. Our outbacks are are saved for for the, the good times. You know, we do the best. We do our best things, and we have our have most of our fun out back. You know what I mean? <laughs> now, if you live in the ghetto or somewhere like that, you sit on the fucking front porch all day and do your thing around the front yard. You're hanging out in front of the convenience store. Nah, we rednecks. We do it out back.